Man, this looks unpleasant, right? Well, guys, we will recreate the, that video thumb thumbnail that you clicked on. So let's fill this table up with some cars. What up, everyone? Stefan here. Welcome to another Club Daika 64 video. Today's video is a response to a truck challenge received uh, from Horacio Bongiovanni. Uh, he's uh, a YouTube colleague that's also doing uh, Hot Wheels cars and die cast cars. You should check him out because I'm going to leave a, a link in my video description for his channel. Uh, I was watching his video, a video of his on his pickups and I was liking what I was seeing. And you know I had to let the men know that I love his stuff so uh, I did. With Horatio being, being a nice guy, of course he comes back to thank me, but he also throws this uh, this challenge at me, uh, which was a challenge indeed because um, I don't do pickups. I uh, don't have that many and uh, actually what I'm showing you now, these are up for trade. Uh, actually they were up for trade, That is just that uh, the guys who got them just didn't pick them up yet. <laughs> Um, but I talked to Horatio and told him, man, let me do a truck challenge. As that is not just pickups, uh, but any large vehicle for carrying goods, materials, or troops. <laughs> if we go by the dictionary. Uh, Super Horatio agreed. So uh, let's get into some trucks from my collection. So as I mentioned, these right here are not mine anymore. These are. This one you have seen in my last uh, video or if you didn't I'll leave a video in the description below. It's a, it's a swap I did. And the other one will appear in one of my next videos. Another real rider swap. But uh, as I mentioned let's get into some trucks from my collection. And uh, starting off we have the Chevy 1500 from 1997, the variation with the uh, Hot Wheels uh, race team decals in full metal of course. This is one of the criteria for the cars I'm picking up. I love the full metal cars. And this is a pickup truck indeed. Another pickup truck from my collection. This one's from 2007, from the Treasure Hunt series. Uh, this one uh, looks great. With its uh, white and brown uh, flames on sides and hood. You see there? I love it. And uh, maybe you didn't think that you'd see a Cadillac under a truck challenge. But we have this custom 53 Cadillac, which was customized into a truck. Um, and this one's uh, almost every time carrying a downhill racer. And uh, it's from the 2010 Treasure Hunt series, as I've mentioned. Uh, next one is a bit more special. This one's a Jiffy Lube signature service exclusive. It's the 56 Ford truck with real riders on it. it says uh, Goodyear and Wrangler on the car. Uh, this was a special uh, promo edition promoting the, as I mentioned, the Jiffy Lube signature service. If you're wondering what that is, you just need to flip the car to find out. As we can see, it included a change oil with pens oil, uh, installed new uh, oil filters, and some other stuff which you can check out by pausing the video. But uh, yeah, the tires look great on this one. Let me see if I can focus, yep, here it is, Wrangler my friend, and Goodyear. Yeah, now you can see it. 
yeah great variation i love it i love the exclusiveness of it <laughs> And uh, next one, another truck, this one with uh, a Ford, the 49 Ford Co. from the Batman uh, classic TV series. This is a massive, massive casting, all white with Penguin on the side there and the Batman logo on the, on the door. Full metal, of course, Real Rider as it's part of the pop culture series. Um, Another one from that same uh, series. Not sure if this goes under vans or uh, pickups, but uh, it's good for carrying goods and materials. Goods and materials, nonetheless. Uh, this one's with uh, Robin on the side there. And um, another massive one done by Hot Wheels. Here's the rest of the series, which I have. Uh, I have stocked up somewhere in the in some boxes but yeah another massive one done by Hot Wheels as I mentioned uh, next one this is a truck you also a truck then we can show it up it's the good humor truck this one's part for, part of the 1992 mainline series here you go and the funny thing is that I have another one with the copyright of 1991 telling us that it's from 1992 but I don't think that these wheels existed back then I'm not sure about it uh, it looks more like the 1995 version in a 1992 package. Back then, in, at the beginning of the 90s, man, this is the type of wheels they had. So I'm hoping you can see the difference there between the wheels. So yeah, I think this one's in. Uh, they still had packages from 1992, and they used them. Uh, this goes by uh, many names, uh, ranging from the Grillionaire to Sweet Streets and Tropic Cool and uh, Quick Bite and uh, or even simply the Ice Cream Truck. And this is from the Hot Wheels Delivery Series. Uh, I wanted this one because it also has the real riders on it and um, that guy inside there serving on the other window that's standard for this casting I, that's one of the reasons i love this this casting and of course i also had to have this real rider version okay uh moving on we have another one that's special it's the final run of the garbage truck uh, this one came out uh, in 1992 as the recycling truck and it ended up as the garbage truck I'm not gonna open this one because the package is already cracked so I'm not sure uh, I don't want to mess it up even uh, even more but it has real riders on it. I'm gonna slap a picture of the of the car without the package on the screen. You can uh, see how it looks. Uh, and a list of the other 2001 final runs they did there. The $20 sticker. That's not how much I paid for it. I've seen it online, uh, ranging between five and twenty-five dollars. Day that is okay. Moving on, moving on, we have uh, the Mercedes Benz Unimog from 1997. Another massive casting done by Hot Wheels. Uh, this one was uh, the real car, was produced by Daimler, formerly known as Daimler Benz, and sold under the Mercedes Benz brand name. Another truck that I, I love. 
And the last but not least, we have the Thunder Roller. This one's really massive. Uh, this one's from 1996 uh, in the Metal Flake Burgundy. I can get it to focus. Uh, this one's based on the on a Kenworth K100 Aerodyne model, and it's huge. This is more like on this is more like on the 187 scale than 164. As we know that Hot Wheels is um, scaling by the package. <laughs> okay guys, uh, that was the last one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the models. If you did, don't forget to leave a comment. Tell me which one's your favorite. Maybe leave a like. Hit, hit that subscribe button and the bell. And I'll catch up on my next video. Take care. Peace out.